Hi, so this particular video is question one of the downloadable worksheet on histograms, which you can reach via the link below this particular video. Okay, so as with all histograms, um, I think it kind of really helps if you write at the very top the formula that you need to remember, which is frequency density equals frequency divided by class width and if you if you can't remember this formula it's going to really help you always with working through these types of questions because what we're being asked to do is to create um, a a histogram on the grid that's being given to us well at the moment we've got the speeds which effectively are the class widths so I'm absolutely fine with that no problems at all um, I've been given the frequency so I've got frequency and I've got class width, that's brilliant. So always with histograms on the left hand side we have the frequency density which is going to be this axis here. So this bit is going to be the frequency density. Okay, And that's what we're going to calculate using the information in the table. Um, so really you could put in a separate column if you want to. You can head it up as frequency density. That's perfectly fine. But providing you show you're working, the, in this particular case we've got a frequency of 15 which is there and we're going to divide it by a class width of 5. So that's going to give a frequency density of three and we just really work through the rest of this class width is sorry big pardon frequency is 25 I'm going to divide it by my class width here which is five so that's going to give me five I've also got 36 divided by 10 and that's going to be 3.6 and then the last one is 24 divided by 20 and that's going to give me 1.2 so there I've got my four frequency densities that I'm going to plot against the class widths that I have so if I just move this up a little bit uh, I hope this is going to come across okay on the video um, it's just going to take a little bit of time but here you can see I've got that 60 to 65 and then it's going to go from 65 to 70 70 to 80 and then 80 to 100 which is my class widths um, and then you can see here that I can um, put onto this the frequency densities. Now the biggest frequency density I'm going to need is actually five and what you'll find very typically with these types of questions is that it'll give you the ability to make the graph look very neat and um, clean when you're um, drawing it through. So my first one is going to be this bar, my second one is going to be um, this bar at the top here, okay, and then I've got here, okay, and I'm just going to put this across for you like that. So that's my first two bars that are being represented by the frequency densities and the class width. The second one I've got is up to uh, 3.6, which is up to here, okay, that's going to come down to 80 which is there and that 3.6 I actually got from this bit here and then the final one is 1.2 so that's my frequency density is 1.2 it's going to be about there over to there because the class width in this particular case is 20 and you can see that from the class width here on the table so when I just draw that in it will give me then a diagram that looks like that. And I appreciate I've not done that particularly tidily, but if you have a look at the website, you'll be able to download this actual question. Okay, with its worked answers. Then the final thing is it asks you to work out an estimate for the number of cars with a speed of more than 85 miles an hour. Now it's just kind of happen with these sorts of uh, questions. So really what we're looking to do is to effectively work out this area which is more than 85. So if you imagine here, uh, if I put 85 there, which is the kilometers per hour speed. And then really what I'm interested in is everything within this block here. So again, if I use exactly the same formula, I've got frequency density 
equals frequency divided by class width. OK, and I can read off the information because the number of cars, well, that's actually going to be the frequency. It's the amount of cars that uh, are doing more than 85 kilometers per hour. So the frequency density I can take from this information here, which I've plotted, and that's going to be 1.2. And then I've got frequency. I don't know. That's what I'm looking to do. But class width. Now, in this particular case, my class width is between 85 and 100. So my class width is going to be 15. So actually, if I put that into a calculator, I can now work out that frequency is 15 times 1.2. And that should give me then 18 cars. So what it's saying is that 18 cars have got a speed of more than 85 miles per hour, uh, kilometers per hour. Um, I hope that's okay for you. There are a couple more examples on this particular playlist. Uh, please do visit the website. You'll be able to download all these answers, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.